Hello everybody, it is the Wither Brian. Um back today with another video. I decided to do something a little different for today because as many most of you know, Terraria is getting a new update soon, which is really exciting. And yeah. 1.4 is going to be released soon, and this actually poses a small problem to a lot of people that play modded Terraria. And there are people that don't even play modded Terraria, so I decided to make a small little series of two videos on how to install modded Terraria, and how to uninstall modded Terraria, and backup versions of Terraria. Okay, so when this is going to be, the title says, this is going to be the installation video. So basically, um, you're going to want to look up Team Mod Loader Download. That's going to be, that you're going to want to do that first things first. Then click the forum thing up here. So you, if you want, there is a teammodloader.net option, but it has a lot of strings attached. Like you have to go to releases and click a bunch of things. So I wouldn't recommend doing it. So you can click table of contents, go to the dot bottom for download, or you can just scroll there. And then I'm going to be showing the Windows guide of this. Um, I might create a mini episode on how to do it on Mac. But yeah, so you're just going to want to click it. Windows, bada boom. And then once you got it, just click it while it's in your download bar here. If you're using, like just, I'm pretty sure that for any browser, it's going to be like that. So basically, you're going to have all these weird things. Now you're going to want to keep this window open you can close chrome if you want um yeah just close chrome sure and then i'm gonna want to right click terraria manage browse local files then you have two windows open right here so yeah and so you see here it has the same nonsense stuff that's here, or at least similar nonsense stuff. And so I already have Team Mod Loader insta uh, installed here, but this is, it's basically just the same process. It, it doesn't really matter that much. Now you can highlight all of this and do Command Copy or Control C, or you can highlight all of it, right click, then Copy. Then you can right click here, then Paste. So, and then it's not going to be seven, but it's going to be a lot of files that it's going to ask you whether to replace. Always say yes. You're going to always want to replace. So now you can close out of this. It's actually very simple. Click Terraria. You want to open Terraria. Let's play some Terraria. And let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to cut now you see whoa this doesn't look like a normal terraria at all um so there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom check out t modulators patreon if you want and keep in mind um just most important thing here if there are any mods that you want to download but on the forum they are called standalone mods or they're referenced as standalone mods anywhere then this method will not work to help you get them um, there are different ways to install them. Usually it's just going to be the same way that I installed Team Mod Loader, but you won't be able to find them through Team Mod Loader. So on Team Mod Loader, there are a bunch of different mods. You can take a look at the mod browser. Um, so many different things. Let's see. I want to play, um, I want to play Elements Awoken. This looks like a fun mod. Elements Awoken, let's see. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Let's play this one. Okay. So I'm going to click download on the mod browser. Boom, it's downloading. Then it's going to, this is, this screen, a screen somewhere to this is going to pop up constantly. Because almost every time you do something, it's going to have to like save your mods or whatever. 
not while you're actually in the game but yeah it can be a little annoying but you get used to it so now i'm gonna go into the mods okay so i have a very many mods now but i want to play calamity thorium more recipe and weapon out well i don't want to play them i have them enabled because i was playing with them but i only want to play calamity screw thorium nobody likes you so i'm just gonna disable these guys i don't want to play with any mods except for calamity and then i'm gonna reload my mods and that's gonna it's it's it says reload required so once i reload my mods it's gonna be every every little thing is gonna be all right and i'm gonna go into single player I'm gonna go into my boy Marcus, my boy Calamity. Let's play. Let's do this, bros. What? What? There is Calamity content. What is this controversial? This is good. Duh. Oh my gosh! I must use the cosmic materializer. Temporal Umbrella. Let's go. Um, oh my gosh. Guide Light of Oblivion. Staff of the Mech Worm. Best thing ever. Now let me fight a boss fight thing. Let's fight a boss. Hooray. I don't know. This is kind of random. But whatever. This is modded Terraria for you folks. Let's fight my boy, uh, what's his name? Yaron, Jungle Dragon, A. Okay, where's the arena? A, my boy Yaron, let's buff up. Drink some of that sweet buff juice. Okay, I'm just gonna. What's up, my boy? Darn, you deal a lot of damage nowadays. That's a lot of damage. This is such a bad video. I'm not gonna lie. LOL cringe. Oh my gosh, I'm dealing damage on you. Get sucked, Yaron. Haha. Ha. LOL. This is such a bad video. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, this is modded cult, uh, Terraria for you, um, which is, it's just really fun, and I wanted to teach you guys how to do this, so, if you want to, you can stick around for the fight, but later, I'm gonna be going over how to manually download stuff, so you can, like, skip ahead to that part if you want, or just stick around, but the manually downloading mods thing, that part is really important, so I recommend you stay for it, I know that sounds kind of pushy maybe but it's actually more important than you would think because a lot of the time I i'm just gonna go over it later hey i killed him oh my gosh i'm so good i got the yaron fragments let me see oh my gosh there's no way i got the yaron fragments they are very rare they're so rare oh my god i got the yaron fragments and there's a wyvern trying to kill me. How sad. LOL cringe. Whoa, I got these. So many things. Well then, okay. So, yeah. That That's modded Terraria for you. But now, um, I'm going to tell you guys. A lot of the time, the mod browser doesn't work. And sometimes it just goes offline. So, I'm going to now show you how to manually install mods without the mod browser. Because nobody likes the mod browser. Okay, I'm back, my gamer friends. And I've been hearing from my friends that, um, what mod? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Alchemist NPC is trendy and very lit. Alchemist NPC download. Whoa, this mod is so trendy. What? Okay. So I found the download on the forums. This is usually it's just gonna be found on the forums. So yeah, let's see. Change log. It's not gonna be in the change log, probably. Let's see. So latest version. Download link. A, let's get the light version. Or no, let's just get the normal version. Let's just do this. 
Whoa, I've downloaded I've downloaded the Alchemist NPC mod. Now when you get it, don't open it. Doesn't doesn't really matter that much, but you shouldn't open it. Because it just doesn't matter. And you shouldn't, okay? Just don't. So yeah, you're gonna want to go into documents. And this is assuming that you have Steam on your computer. You didn't get this through GOG or whatever, I don't know. My games, Terraria, um, mod loader, mods. Whoa, so many mods. I'm going to now. Nope, just stop. Okay. I'm going to now drag this little piggy into here. Hooray, I got Alchemist NPC. And then let's go look at my mods. Hooray, I have Alchemist NPC. This is quality content. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to be releasing a video on how to get rid of Mod Loader. And yeah, bye sisters.